like I just said, one of the oldest, most iconic and still deadly aircraft in the American arsenal. The B-52 has reportedly been deployed near West Asia in an undisclosed military base. Amid rising tensions between Israel and Iran, despite its age, this Cold War era giant is still prevalent in modern conflicts. So why does the seven decade old B-52 still remain a powerhouse in the skies? First flown in 1952, the bomber has been serving the U.S. Air Force since 1955 and reportedly still has decades of flight ahead. Reportedly, it can travel vast distances, carry an array of weapons and yet, it's relatively cheap to keep in action. As per reports, the B-52 is the oldest active duty bomber in the U.S. fleet. After more than 70 years of service, experts predict it could continue flying for at least another 30 years, possibly until 2060. As per reports, the fifth bomb wing from uh, Minot Air Force Base in North Dakota dispatched B-52s to the U.S. Central Command area. The bomber's exact destination remains undisclosed. But as per reports, the U.S. operates air bases across the Gulf region from Qatar to the UAE. So where these planes can land and can operate if needed. As per reports, their presence is intended to dissuade any aggression from Iran or its allies. Reportedly, the bomber is capable of nuclear and conventional warfare. Let's just break down some key figures for you. Reportedly, the B-52 can carry up to 32,000 kilograms of weapons. Think bombs, rockets, missiles, including air-launched cruise missiles and decoys. It's eight engines, an unusually high number, reportedly allowing it to fly as far as 14,200 kilometers without refueling. It has a max speed of 1,000 kilometers per hour just below the sound barrier and it can climb to 50,000 feet, far above many other combat aircraft. It's 185-foot wings, reportedly nearly two feet longer than the Leaning Tower of Pisa. As per reports, over the years, the B-52 has adapted to evolving threats and missions. It was reportedly extensively used in the Cold War, often on high-altitude patrols near Soviet borders. During the Vietnam War, these bombers were often used in bombing campaigns. As per reports, flying missions from the Pacific bases in Guam and Okinawa. Reportedly, in the 1991 Gulf War, B-52s launched from Diego Garcia in the Indian Ocean to strike deep into Iraq during Operation Desert Storm. The bombers also reportedly used in Bosnia, in Kosovo, Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria. In the year 2022, reportedly it was used for testing advanced weapons like a hypersonic missile. In fact, as per reports, among America's three heavy bombers, which include the B-1B and B-2 stealth bombers, B-52 costs $72,000 per flight hour, far cheaper than the B-2, which costs around $135,000 an hour. Reportedly, the B-52 remains an essential part of America's nuclear triad. The land, sea and air-based defense system reportedly designed to respond to any nuclear threat. In fact, reports also say the B-52 can be used for conventional strikes ready to attack on land or at sea with precision and intensity. Meanwhile, since Sunday, Israel pressed on with its campaigns in Lebanon and Gaza. The Lebanese health ministry has said at least three people were killed in an airstrike near the southern Lebanon city of Sidon. Israel reportedly also said Hezbollah fired 100 missiles from Lebanon into its territory. As per the IDF, several of the missiles were intercepted while some fell in unpopulated areas. However, the Lebanese group said the projectiles targeted for the first time Israeli military base in the northern city of Haifa. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on a visit to the Lebanon border vowed to respond firmly to Hezbollah's attacks. With or without an agreement, the key to returning peace and security in the north, the key to returning our evacuated residents in the north safely to their homes, is to push Hezbollah back beyond the Litani River, to strike any attempt by it to rearm, and thirdly, to respond forcefully against any action against us. So as tensions flare in West Asia, the B-52 once again reminds the world that old does not mean obsolete.
To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.